What's up, party people? I'm Burke Hawk, and this is Rock Talk. Today I'm joined by Ryan Dahl and Todd Kearns of the age of electric. Oh, yes, <laughs> we got it going on. So, for the people that don't know, what is the age of electric? It's a rock band established in 1989 that existed for about, I don't know, was it nine ten, years? Nine, nine years. years yeah. And then we kind of Went away year. for a while, for yeah. about 17 years, and now we're back just to play some shows. Yeah. We released some new music and re-released -re our last record, which is yeah. 20 years old. Um, I can't believe that. I yeah. really yeah. can't believe that. Yeah. And there were some unreleased songs on that as well. So we released se uh, four new songs yeah. and then four old songs, re-released these amazing. old ones. Yeah. So let's throw it right back to the beginning just for bring people up to speed. Is it true that when the band first started, you started playing covers? Yeah, I mean, when, back when we were kids, you couldn't, I mean, the only places we could find to play were places where you could play cover songs. But I've always equated it to what I call our Hamburg years, because the Beatles went to Hamburg, Germany, and played like, I don't know, six sets a night, yeah. whacked out on pills, just kind of like trying to keep up with it. So playing. You guys were whacked out on pills. Uh, <laughs> in Saskatchewan, it would have just been like Molson Canadian, really. Yeah. Okay. But, um, or actually, I'm sorry, Saskatchewan would have been more Pilsner or Bohemian. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to get my ass kicked for that. Yeah. Um, but, um, but I mean, back then, like I say, and that the best thing about it, we're all going to get killed oh, by a van now. Okay, car. We're doing the Canadian <laughs> car. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. No, that'll be that'll be funny. That makes it so much more Canadian. Yeah, this is Canadian car. Kick him on. Car, game, on. on game on. Game on. Game on. Yeah. We're, we're, but that's what I was saying. I mean, the, the cover thing was just mostly for us to just get out and play, and yeah, we I played, you know, three sets a night, six nights a week. So we we played more shows in one year than most bands play, you know, in in five. Is so. there anything that sticks out that you guys used to play? Oh. We used to play everything. Play everything. Yeah, yeah we, we, we played like really weird ones too. Like um, to this day, I still, you know, we still, in some version or another, we play a version of this song called Aliyah by Donny Iris. Or... We could probably go over your jacket and see what we yeah, played. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We probably played a Deftone song at one point. It's a white zombie for sure, but yeah. definitely Johnny Cash song. Yeah, we a lot Johnny of, what Cash. Else we got yeah, here? Yeah. Oh, these are uh, Cybertronic Spree. Oh, okay. They're uh, a Transformer band that does oh, covers, yeah. actually. Oh, okay. No yeah, way. they dress as Transformers. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, they're cool. That's they're crazy. a Toronto band. Yeah. Plug wow. out to them. There you go. There you yeah. go. More so, uh, another question from that time period. It was a two-hour drive to band practice, correct? At uh, that, at when it first initial, initially started. No, because we actually. Okay. There. You're thinking that uh, you're probably thinking that because the town yes. Lanigan that we were in was two hours from Regina, correct. so we all went to Lanigan, where my parents were from, yep. and just rehearsed there. So we weren't actually commuting. We, oh, were actually, we actually okay. went there. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. And gotcha. lived in a small town. Yeah. All right. So. Off of your your first album, there's a song, well, for the first full-length album, there's a song called Enya. Mm -hmm. Who is Enya? You know, it's one of those weird things where I think we were just kind of like jamming a riff over and over and over again. I think yeah. that that's just like one of those things that just was sort of like vocally came out. And I yeah. think it was something else at one point, and they just kind of went back. It kept going back to the word Enya, so it just sort of stayed that way. Okay. It's the funny thing about music where you kind of like, Ryan and I talk about it all the time, it's, it's sometimes it's just kind of like, Sometimes uh, it's just a phrase that you say turns into a song as opposed yeah. to sitting there kind of trying to cleverly come up with something. And in this case, I think it's just like uh, some noises that just formed a word. Being <laughs> open to the opportunity of taking, you know, a song from any, anywhere. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's basically the sister of Susu Sudia. <laughs> Okay, well, it was also the sister of Katrina and the Waves. That's a whole other conversation. <laughs> so you guys have been in multiple projects since, I guess, the disbanding of yeah. Age of Electric. Yeah. Yep. And then you come back with, like you said, a four-song EP. Yeah. How difficult is it not to take the experience and the sounds of those other projects and bring them into Age of Electric? Because the four-song EP might as well, to me, be a continuation of what you guys were doing. Like, it has that sound. It brings me back to that time period. Well, we're kind of influenced by ourselves. Yeah. You know, like, we kind of, when we think of this band, we kind of, we kind of stepped right back into where our tracks were and kind of yeah. just kind of kept on going as opposed to, like, 
you know, let's bring all these elements together. We didn't really think like that. We just kind of yeah. thought, you know, what was that music? What is that music to us? And so it was really easy to just get in step with that and just generate something that felt like it was the next logical thing that we would have released well, you guys in some such weird a way. We bond over the years. It probably just came so naturally. Like, this is Age yeah, of Electric, this is us. And, and started writing ideas, and yeah. they kind of came together in the same way that they did back then. So, yeah, it's pretty simple. So there's definitely... I. I I'm a huge fan of this era of music, so I pitched to all the bands from this era, but it seems to be coming full swing because all of these 90s bands are coming back together. The Rusty, the Killjoys, yeah, yeah. you know, and I'm like, there has to be a 90s tour. Like, somebody's just got to jump on this and go with it. Actually. You know, uh, as long as I don't know if there's beef between bands or whatever. We were supposed to play with the Killjoys and with Rusty, Rusty uh, in yeah. this weekend. So, like, within the next yeah. few days, we're excited to see these, these both of those bands. Yeah, because Rusty's yeah. in the yeah. studio yeah. recording a new album. Yeah. So is the Killjoys, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I, I, I'm happy. Like, I just need someone to... Well, Fund like nobody, it. Re nobody <laughs> replaced us, right? Like, yeah. So if if we would have been replaced with other bands that were sort of like in that same, you know, I think that all those bands have a, a, a specific special thing about them, yeah. you know. And when you think about '90s music in Canada, all the bands really had a fingerprint, you know. It wasn't really like a, a, an, it wasn't a bunch of bands that all sounded the same. It was a bunch of bands that were really uh, not a melting pot. It was more so like completely different fingerprints, and so you didn't really. See see a lot of uh, bands that came after them that yeah. really copied them as much so it seems like now people can kind of go back and rusty can be rusty and we got we we still go oh that's cool like yeah, it's yeah. it's yeah. you know so i'm it's, excited it's kind to hear of a neat record. period in, in music because you got the classic rock and roll guys still going strong yeah, absolutely. you got the 90s kind of revival thing happening and then all these new bands coming up it's it's one of my favorite time periods right now yeah. especially with all the 90s coming back yeah, absolutely yeah I agree. So I, I do have a question for you, for yes. your personality, because I've seen, well, you've got to work with Slash, so yeah. you've got these big, you got glam shots, <laughs> but then you also got the, uh, the, the, the yeah, yeah, the with the hair, so the like wind blowing in your face, <laughs> <laughs> and then, but then you got like silly ones, like people like actual from the audience catching. Right. Is that both sides of your personality? Do you have the I glam? I, I don't know how, I mean, the, the glam stuff, I suppose, is anytime somebody puts you in the most... We, we talk about photo shoots all the time. Yeah. There's nothing more awkward than the idea of like four guys standing against a brick yeah. wall kind of like trying to be like Tough. cool. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. It's, it's, it's been around since the beginning of time how silly that whole thing is. I mean, your personality is going to present itself either yeah. way. So I mean, I, I, I'm actually, I, I I'm, actually, I like I'm the goofy pretty goofy, ones. actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like the goofy In ones. general, it I'm just, pretty goofy. It shows yeah. the personality yeah. coming out. So honestly, guys, I really appreciate your time. If there's oh, any, oh, no, you, you know what? Where can people find all your, your info? At the show. At the show? <laughs> yeah. No, um, uh, ageofelectric.com. Yeah. Or is it theageofelectric.com? It is. But ageofelectric. <laughs> age of, sure it, it is theageofelectric.com. We'll, we'll check to make sure he puts the right yeah. stuff here. Uh, Age of Electric at Twitter. Yeah. Age of Electric at Instagram. But theageofelectric.com. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate your guys' time. I really do. It's been an honor. All right. Take care. Peace out, party people. Yeah.